In this video, I want to talk about fractions in a more useful light. That is describing a measurement. And so pictured in front of me here is just your standard ruler, or standard ruler, your standard measuring tape. It doesn't really matter. They all come in this flavor-ish. But this is in inches. And so we have to know that going into it. The metric system works in centimeters primarily at this level. And it's a much easier system to work with. Centi comes, uh, if we want to think about it in our terms, comes from cents. And there's 100 cents in a dollar, 100 years in a century. And so centimeters, there are 100 centimeters in a meter. In inches, it's not quite that easy. It's 12 inches in a foot, 3 feet in a yard, 1,760 yards in a mile. I mean, it's just not easy. But in the metric system, everything's based on powers of 10. It makes life so much easier. So uh, I can work in either. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but if I had a preference, it would be uh, the metric system as far as to work with it. So enough preaching. But we, we've got to figure out what fraction we're talking about. So let's go ahead and start at the 2 spot. And then let's come up and say, okay, well, when we measured this thing, it measured out to here. The question is, how long is the thing that we measured? Well, to do that, we have to know how many parts there are that we want. And so we want all the stuff in between it. And so we're going to just simply start off, and I'm going to pick green. Hopefully that will be enough contrast. And I'm just going to count the number of pieces that I have here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 43 parts that I want. And so, because what I want goes on top, because this is most important to me, uh, I put the 43 on the top of the fraction. Underneath, though, I put in the number of pieces or parts there are to the whole thing. In this case, we're talking about inches. And so I want to find out how many parts there are in one inch. Just one inch. So let's count the pieces again, but from only from two to three. So we're counting from here to there. So we've got in the green. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 lines. And so that means that there are 32 parts in the one whole inch. So if I wanted to express this particular measurement, and that was in red, so it's here to here, it would be 43. 30 seconds of an inch. This is perfectly fine to write it this way. If you've had some experience with fractions before, you will know that this is termed an improper fraction. And some of you are probably taught to shun them, that they are evil and somehow wrong. They're not wrong. It's just, it's harder for people to visualize improper fractions. And now if I said one, and 11 30 seconds. Okay, now you know it's a little bit more than one inch. In fact, you might know it's about one and a third inches. But this is still technically correct. And when you work with fractions continuously, you'll find out improper fractions are way easier to work with than mixed numbers. Not that either of them are difficult, they're just one's more involved than the other. So keep this in mind as you're working with fractions what the fractions mean more important than you might think. 